Hi, everybody. It is Eamon here, and welcome to another episode of Pat Monk Presents. Joining us on today's podcast, we have Shay all the way from the beautiful city of Boston, and she is with Pam NFT Studio. So welcome to the podcast. How are you? Thank you, Eamon. I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So maybe people who are not familiar with Pam, can you give us a quick download, a quick overview as why is you do, how you help people and businesses and so on and so forth. Sure, absolutely. So Palm NFT Studio is a tech company. We partner with artists, creators, brands, IP owners, and entertainment companies to really redefine audience engagement through the use of NFTs, otherwise known as digital collectibles. Um, and to further break it down, so what we do is we develop their full Web3 strategy. We build out their tech from creating the marketplace, executing primary sales, to hosting secondary marketplace and, and ongoing maintenance, as well as you know weekly sales and other larger scale campaigns. We also do all of the creative in-house, like 3D generative art, story wor- world creation, marketing, and mostly, most importantly, community building and engagement, because that's you know what Web3 is all about. Um, so in a nutshell, we deliver innovative digital or, uh, digital collectible experiences. Fantastic. I mean, NFTs, this is such an exciting space to be in, and it seems to be moving so fast. And I, I believe yes. that, um, just, you know, released a new NFT, you know, art maker. Maybe tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Yeah. So we recently released the Palm Generative Art Maker. It's a new tool that allows anyone to build generative 3D collections in Unreal Engine. It's a plugin. And so it also allows you to be able to mint your generative art collections on the blockchain. Oh, and it's, did I mention it's totally free? (laughs) Sorry, I didn't mean to sound like an ad. But um, so the cool thing about this is you don't even need to know how to code. You don't need to have 3D art experience. It's it's a really amazing tool because what we're doing is we're making generative art more accessible to a broader range of creators. So now small individual artists and small teams who are often challenged to be able to create these types of collections now have an easier, faster way to be able to to produce an NFT. There, we've got game-ready 3D assets and NFT collections. It also gives users full creative control. Um, It's got dynamic metadata and trait naming um, components to it, as well as real-time rendering. So uh, it's a really cool tool. It's totally free. You can find it on Unreal Engine and just look for Palm Generative Art Maker in the search. Uh, in fact, every month I host a Twitter space. It's kind of like a workshop where I speak with our 3D uh, senior 3D designer and we talk about the tool. We give tips and tricks and we also answer, we open it up to a general Q&A so that anyone can come up on stage and, and ask a question and, you know, we're there to help out. Um, yeah, so, I, sorry. No, that, that sounds great. So uh, definitely uh, we're on Twitter, right? They can check you guys. Uh, yes. On Twitter. yes, our Twitter handle is at Palm NFT. Um, and then concurrently, sorry, I've, I wanted to mention this because this is also another tool that we released last week. It's um, it's called Chain Letter. It's a quarterly project that explores the emerging ecology of Web3. So our goal pretty much is to share tools for artists working in this medium through the experience of other blockchain-based developers and creators. So what we've done is we've interviewed some really successful developers and creators, and we've put all of their, um, their advice and their knowledge sharing on this site it's it's a it's called chainletter.info is the site and we've also put in some community resources collection templates and other super educational content so for anyone who is not just interested in 3d generative art through our tool uh, anyone who wants to learn anything else about the space this is a great place to go again it's also free Fantastic. Yeah, great, great to hear that. And like with what you're doing on you know Twitter and what you're doing, you know, getting the word out, like what other channels are you using to spread the word about what you're doing? Like is it mostly inbound? Is it outbound? Is it SEO? Is it, you know, on uh, social? What channels seem to be working best for you at the moment? The channels that work really well for us, I would say, is 
the, our blogs, first of all, on our website, we have very educational blogs that really give people a lot of information as far as, you know, how to work best in Web3 and NFTs and, and in this world. Um, and then on top of that, we do a lot of op-ed pieces. We have a PR agency that really helps us get our, get the word out. And we get, for example, based on that tool that we released last week, we got tons of really great media coverage. And I think those backlinks from those sites, those very authoritative sites, coming back to our website really brings a lot of people in. And I think that it also, that's what's gotten us, like, I think we get so, we get so many newsletter signups, newsletter email signups on a daily basis because of all of this media that we're getting. So I would really say that, you know, when you're doing something positive for the rest of the community, everyone just comes. <laughs> That's great. Great to hear. And like, when, like you're saying, the media, the backlinks, the PR agency, and what you're doing with regarding content. I mean, when all these people are coming to the, the website, then how important is it the website of taking those visitors and turning them into future happy customers? Well, first thing I think is the the educational component. Once they see that, you know, we're providing some really valuable, not just valuable content, but also valuable tools and access to resources like, you know, developers and artists who are already successful. I think that's what really brings people in. And I think they see that, you know, working with a company like ours really allows them to get into Web3 a lot faster. That's great. And kind of, you know, switching gears a little bit and talking more about you as you know in a leadership role within marketing. I mean, what what keeps you busy on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, to be honest with you, I am the only marketing, uh, the sole marketing resource at Palm NFT Studio. We're a very small company, but we work very fast and really hard. So as far as my day-to-day, -day, how that looks is um, you know, again, we're super lean and super efficient. So I have my hand in almost everything, almost not quite, but almost. <laughs> so I execute on all marketing deliverables. I'm, you know, pretty much ready for anything. That means I have to think fast on my feet, but at the same time, putting out fires, you know, thinking and planning ahead constantly. Um, I'm pulled in so many directions every day that I have very few patterns. I don't really have a typical day. Um, I work on the email campaigns. I work on all of the social media campaigns, um, you know, of course, marketing. And then I also host a lot of events like Twitter spaces, LinkedIn audio events, and Discord stages. Discord stages happens to be a favorite of mine and a fan favorite of Web3 because it allows you to be able to token gate some of the events, which is so key because when it comes to community building, which is the number one thing in Web3, community building, um, you know, Discord allows you to, you know, if someone owns one of your NFTs, you can have an exclusive invite only event uh, for those users. So that's why it's such a, a big hit with Web3. Very good. Very good. Sounds like you're pretty full on, pretty uh, like doing lots of things, which is great. Um, yeah. Also, I mean, with this, like what's the one um, thing that your company is focused on at the moment? Like where is the direction that what keeps you busy? Well, right now, one of our main projects, one of our biggest clients is DC Comics. And, oh, it's such a fun project to work on. And again, it's because of the community. We have, a, a, so we have various components of this project. The the main one being bat cowl holders. So do you know what a bat cowl is? Uh, it's, you know, Batman's uh, mask. Mm -hmm. So last April, we released um, an AR filter NFT of that mask. It's called Bat Cal. And um, so anyone who ha had, you know, bought this from the primary or bought it from the secondary, they have exclusive access to tons of content and events and um, sometimes even discounts. But one of my favorite aspects of it is um, if you own a Bat Cowl, you get to write and create um, Batman the Legacy Cowl comic book in real time. So the way it works is every week we send out an email with two votes 
um, well, two emails with two different votes. Um, mm -hmm. And it allows people to choose, for example, you know, who's Batman's nemesis going to be for this chapter? Or what is his vehicle going to look like? Or what is his costume going to look like? And they get to vote. So their votes really drive the direction of the story and the artwork. And, they, and then um, DC artists and writers create this comic book in real time. And at the end of the, you know, however many months it takes for us to get one comic book, we release that digital copy of it to those Batcal holders. And being a part of that experience to be able to really, uh, you know, be part of creating canon for Batman and lore, you know, that's just a great experience. I think that's something that a lot of people absolutely love. And, and you can't get that anywhere else. That's just one small component of you know, owning a bat cowl NFT. There are so many more, like, you know, again, you get access to Jim Lee uh, as far as Jim, Jim Lee is the president, uh, publisher and chief creative officer at DC Comics. And uh, we've had, I think, three or four discord stages and Twitter spaces with him, um, you know, as, as a guest speaker, and people just love it. They, you know, flock to come to those events and be able to ask him questions and, you know, just really engage with him and and hear directly from him the direction of DC Comics. So I think that's a really cool aspect. And then we also, you know, of course, give other exclusive ex exclusives to this community, like uh, discount codes to different events, movies that are coming out, things like that. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I know a couple of friends that would 100% uh, love that because I'm just picturing them now because they're big Batman fans. So uh, ah, it definitely will be 100%, 100%. I'll be sending them to you guys 100%. Awesome. Um, also, look, thank you so much uh, for being on the podcast with us today, um, Shay. Uh, of course, I want to give you the last word. I mean, if people were to forget everything that you know we shared and you shared on the interview today, if they were to only remember one thing, uh, one thing about um, NFT Studio, what would that one thing be? Um, well, if it was one piece of advice I'd have to give anybody, I would say never stop learning. Everything around you is constantly evolving and pretty rapidly. So keep up with tech and keep up with generative AI tools. And one thing I, I really like to impart is I truly believe that NFTs are the next marketing revolution. Just as every brand today has a social media and email marketing strategy, soon every brand will have an NFT strategy. So don't get left behind. Learn about NFTs as a marketing tool to build better, more direct and engaging experiences for audiences. Fantastic. Well, like that is it. Uh, so definitely if you want to find out um, a little bit more, so it's just Pam NFT studio.com where yes. you can check it out and your Twitter handle again for everybody. It's Palm NFT. There we go. Super simple. So uh, check out those live streaming events and that is it for today, folks. So thank you so much, Shay, for taking time out of your busy schedule and everybody else. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Pat Monk Presents.